Hello everybody. How are you all doing? I'm gonna do a quick stream. Sorry, I'm fairly busy this uh, this afternoon. So I guess I'm just gonna do you know a few couple of hours really quick. Gotta be out of here before six, so yeah. Just a couple of hours. Will we be able to reach level fifty? And do some of the Dragoons final missions. We'll see about that. I hope so. That's what I'm trying to do here. You know, just to look cool. And I guess to have some decent gear as well. It's big enough. Yeah, this needs to be <laughs> back. Alright, we saved everybody in what possibly was the longest quest we've done so far. Tanker's plight troubles us all, yet we can't allow anything to come between us and our goal. Yeah, we saw the Tanker was the traitor, that's why they knew how to strike, where to strike. So long as the ultimate weapon exists, he also will never know peace. Let's go on to the Alliance leader, help them make the right decision. Alright, we're closed. Rune Tidings, it seems that world of the ultimate weapons exists and already reached the Alliance, the form of an ultimatum. They've gathered in the fragrant chamber and are deliberating the answer as we speak. I fear they may well elect to lay down their arms in the belief they will surrender the surrender will spread the people's lives. No, it's not gonna happen. I wish a battle offer will do me Orzia not to deliver it. And the leader must be made aware of this. Let's hurry. Yes. Let's hurry. How Yes? Okay, we're getting some XP. We are so close guys, really really close. Do we have any new... Well, maybe not... Ooh, we forgot about those. Shit. What about duties? Nope. I guess I could do a random one. Like very quick. Also, Hassan Street, I'm assuming, is where everybody is gathering. Not really sure, but yeah, there they are. Can't even tell. Oh, oh, oh look at that! <laughs> look at the cat from below. Nice. Sorry, subo tender, subo tur, subo something. Oh, it's a cat tour. Alright, Bartholomew. Wow, are they twins? The Council of the Alliance leaders is presently in progress in the Dragon Chamber. I must ask you to step away from the door, sir. I'm sorry, you're here on behalf of the Science of the Seven Dawn? A thousand pardons, my lord. Of course you may enter. Ah, we keep treading the same ground. Van Belsar's demands are clear. Oh, Unless come on now. Our minds are not. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We'll have to do this again. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Oh, where are we? Okay, we have access to that, not to disembowel level are we? 36. Not good enough. Yeah, this is not good. The combo is so small right now. Right. Shouldn't we move, we move away from that? Ah, yeah, there we go. Not even sure what's going on. 
is dying though. I'm assuming that's okay. Shoot. Was I out? Yes, I was. Nice. Jeez, that hurts. Oh man, to think what we'll have to do when we level up the Dark Knight. That's gonna be a pain in the butt. Ouch. He's dead. Alright, easy. Sure. We've done decent. Decent job here. Ooh, wow, that was not a lot of XP. I thought... I, um, hmm. I didn't think it would be... That bad. <laughs> wow, okay, so yeah, you had your turn. You too. Okay, now you talk. Alas, our minds are not. I've never been one to shy from a fight, but if this weapon of theirs can do all they claim... It has been five years since the Calamity, and our people have scarce begun to rebuild their lives. Can we now, in good conscience, call upon them to risk what little they have left? I would spare them the pain of further conflict. And condemn them to a life of conflict, servitude? I say. Though that would imply forces set in opposition. If the combined might of three primals could not stay Garlemald's new terror, what meaningful resistance can we offer? We who struggle to quell the foes who rise up within our own borders. I guess. Long have we fought the primals. But to what end? We strike them down at no small cost. Only for them to rise again and again. Oh, come on, Merlib. You can't... Are to play this profitless game for the rest of days? I, for one, grow tired of it. Now you... Mistake me not. I do not propose to trade one tyranny for another. Okay, that's a Merlib I know. love liberty. But conciliation need not mean oppression. By the Twelve, though neither of you cried surrender, your every word betokened it. Mm. Not that I deny there is truth in what you say, nor can I rightly claim that Ulda is ready to fight. Ulda. Refugees flood our gates. And beastmen swarm our land, while the great and the good do nothing. My flames struggle to bear the burden. I mean, you guys are the great and the good, aren't you? I put on a grand show at the remembrance service, made all manner of lofty promises. I've made good on not a bloody one. So this is the time. Don't blame yourself, Ralvan. You said only that which the people needed to hear. All present have done the same. Our citizens had become lost to hope. If Shut our up. words serve to kindle it in them anew, better we speak than remain silent. Our enemy condemns us for failing our people. Yet what does he care for their well-being? While we labored to rebuild mm. their lives, the Black Wolf built instruments of murder. With which to end them. I mean, she's got a point. Her Majesty speaks true. For all our failings, the people's well being has ever been our foremost priority. While none among us ever doubted that the Empire would one day resume its war, we scarcely had means enough 
to solve the problems of the present. Aye, which is why we look to others to safeguard our future. The scions of the seventh dawn. Alas, they are gone. And the no, they're not. is at our door. Admiral! I fear you are mistaken. Alfinord, Minfilia, and Seven Hells, Master Garland? Fantastic, really, if I love her. <laughs> so nobody cares about me? Which, you, you know. dear friend. Oh, yeah, thank you. I mean, I did everything. By Ralga, you're alive. All of you. As we approached, I would swear I heard talk of surrender. But I know that cannot be. It is not the Eorzean way. Hear me, my friends. Accepting Nagalian's offer to vanquish the primals would be folly. Folly, I say. For might is not the answer to the primal threat. Indeed, the more the Empire exerts its strength, the worse matters will become. Primals enter this world when mortals call upon them, and mortals are wont to appeal to a higher power when they are desperate. Nothing is more certain to breed desperation in the beast tribes than the Galleon's proposed solution. The true answer lies in a lasting peace, but the Garleans only know war and conquest. Should Eorzea fall into their hands, there will be such suffering as none can imagine. We are not blind to the many challenges that each of your nations face. Yet you must not give in. I remember five years ago when you wagered all for the sake of the realm. Remember what you fought for, what you were willing to die for. I mean, I would say something as well, but they don't give me a voice, so... Let the memories rekindle the fire in your heart, for Eorzea has need of it again. Come what may, we Scions will never give up the fight. And so I bid you stand with us, and together we shall safeguard the future of the realm. <laughs> I just nodded. In all of that, I just nodded. A great man once said that a shrewd merchant grasps not for the quick profit, but invests in the future. Wise words, eh, Raoban? Hmm. Sid, I... Uh... Your words stir and shame me in equal measure. How could I contemplate surrender? I know full well that all we have, we owe to the sacrifices of those who went before us. Yet the seeming hopelessness of our plight robbed me of my insight. Bad kind of send up bad. Okay. She's pissed now. Good. We Finally. have no love for war. Yet we have still less for those who would threaten our homeland. Ever have we fought to protect those things we hold dear. And this shall never change. Bad voice actress, so I don't like how she speaks. We will go to war. We will fight the Empire for the sake of the realm and all who abide here. Got the music ramped up. We haven't won. At long last, I hear words worthy of a founder of the Alliance. Well, Bon, are we to be all done? Can we not do the speeches now? I lost one homeland. The thought of losing another had blunted my resolve. We're doing the speeches. No man knows <laughs> better than I that if you want art, you'd best be ready to die for it. With great danger comes the chance for great glory and great profit. 
we mostly for a profit. Turn sand into gold. Know this well. Do you guys see my Steam notification? Um, no, it doesn't appear so. Good. How many times have we fallen into the pit of despair, only to have you pluck us out? I fair lost count. Yeah, man, yeah, me too. Especially all the times I had to deliver Reckless, some bullshit like bear asses. Well, I won't waste my breath trying to talk you round, on account of being a pirate myself. And the pirate who shrinks from a challenge is no pirate at all. Those who would pick a quarrel with us must choose. Back down, or go down with all hands. There you go, my way. come. The united strength of Limsa Lominsa will be waiting for them. Which makes the name of the city sound nice. Our realm is to be free of this pall of darkness. Let it be by our own hands. Who are you? Why are you here? Are we burning now? Oh, those are the missives from... From Gaius, I suppose. We needs consider how the weapon may be brought to bear against us. The Maelstrom will secure strategic points along the coastline. Alright. In the meantime, the flames will deploy at... Be at ease, my friends. You have banished our doubts. Pray leave the military matters to us and retire to the Waking Sands. We will send word anon. Oh, please, not the Waking Sands. Shouldn't we be taking part in that? I mean... I'm not saying people have been bad at planning so far, but we can't have. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. Sorry, this lady. Supremacy of the. Mm, interesting. Alright, we're gonna go back to uh, the Waking Sands, unfortunately. We're close, we'll still have the, the Silver Star, the discount on the teleport, so we're gonna move right away. But yeah, I think at this point they should really let us do some of the military decisions because they have no idea what they're doing. They haven't seen anything. We infiltrated a freaking cast room from the Empire. We know the technology. We have Sid, which has all the technological knowledge. We have Alfino with the magical knowledge. And every single one of us, it's really powerful. So why... Uh, what, what did they do? Until now. They lost a war. That's all they did. And they uh, were left with collecting the pieces after the calamity. I don't know about that. Solid Sanic. <laughs> sure. Is there a new dungeon though? That's what I want to know. Shouldn't there be another one? I remember being more than one. Maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. Also, can we recover the Magitek armor? Oh, we have new people already. Really? Well, okay, not everybody. Few survivors, maybe out on a mission like me, collecting bear races and whatnot. Fine. We are so close. We are so close. It's what, a few quests? What server am I on? I'm playing on the European uh, Chaos thing. I forgot 
the server, can I check? I don't think I can check from here, I think I can check from outside. I really didn't pay too much attention. I cannot well express my relief oh, here we go. To think that the Alliance Hi, by the way, cool girl. To surrender. How are you doing? But the fire in their hearts has been rekindled, and they will fight to the last. This warmth inside. Did you feel it too, Grandfather? I did. I would know something. Was that your power at work earlier? The power? Nothing of the sort. The leaders of Eosia had an Ultros. Way. Is that on the on the American the servers? I think. I don't know. I I remember checking the the different servers when I first started getting interested in Final Fantasy. Just to see what were the unofficial or official, you know, positions and languages. Because in Europe we have an unofficial French server, an unofficial German server. And since I don't speak now the French and German, I kind of wanted to be on a, you know, active server. I think it's ah, what was it? Was it Ragnarok? Was it Cerberus? It's one of the two. It's the two most busy. Realms, I guess. In the European cluster, shard, whatever it's called. Oh, hello. Yes, our party returned just a moment ago. How close are you? I think this one had a. This one has had a good uh, riding scene, and eventually want to do some raiding. So maybe I had to choose between the few that had. People and guild actually playing, so I know Lich needs plan our next move. Pray continue liaising with your respective nations. Sid, would you be our man in Ulda? I know Lich was very low population. So yeah, I had to go with a big one. Problem is sometimes I got queues getting in. And it took me a while to make the character on this server. It was closed most times. I was lucky, I guess. I'll be whatever and wherever you need me to be. Alright, say it. Alright. Let's do this. Sankrid's fate weighs heavy on my mind. I cannot bear to think of him enthralled to an Asian. Well, I mean he disappeared a long time ago. Mayhap you know this already, but the Asians are immortal beings without physical form. Since time immemorial, they have fanned the flames of chaos from the shadows. I want to know when did that happen. I mean, was it bad from the beginning, Tancred, or did he switch midway? How exactly nobody noticed? That they might work unseen. The Asians entrap and possess mortal men by means of malign artifacts known as Crystals of Darkness. One such crystal may yet be the key to saving Thancred. Oh, you want to save him now? Alright. What is that? Another one. This is a Crystal of Darkness. A mere replica, created using data obtained from anomalous crystals found across Eorzea. Right. It comes to us courtesy of the students of Baldessian, our distant allies. And yeah, they've Even been talking about those guys for a while now. His talents are exceptional. We all had complete confidence in him. It was for this reason that none among us foresaw the danger in sending him to investigate the Asians alone. That might be true, but you're all exceptionally powerful and you have a lot of, you know, Power to detect these kind of things. Thancred had been striving to fill the void left by Louis Soir. Yet it was plain that he was overtaxing himself. Oh, this is the point where everybody yeah, I knew, I knew. Yeah. <laughs> he would volunteer for everything and work till he was dizzy. He also had the same tattoo as you. And the toll taken by his exertions and made him her. vulnerable to Asian influence. 
Hmm. The crystal that I wonder. binds Thancred must be somewhere on his person. If we could but destroy it, his Asian possessor would be compelled to relinquish control over him. Right. You have proven the stoutest of allies, standing with us through thick and thin. Yeah, but mostly the thick. The perilous struggle is still to come. For the sake of the realm and Thancred. I ask that you lend us your strength once more. All right, let's do it. Jeez, there's a lot of talking in this piece of the game. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. All right, all right, no worry, Mephilia, we're fine. As I am sure you are aware, the realm was saved from certain doom five years ago by heroes known as the Warriors of Light. Correct. What you may not be aware of is that your many feats in service to the Scions have prompted folk to make certain comparisons. Yeah, so I've heard. I must confess, you do remind me of them. Yeah, I mean, with a worse armor set, but sure. Yet remember this, however glorious the past, it is the hero's lot to be judged on the deeds of the present. A new darkness threatens the realm, and the people cry out for a savior. I believe that you are he, a warrior of light, here in the present, guided by the crystal's will. I have collected six crystals and talked to the mother of crystal, I guess Come, so. Come, my friends, let us fight to safeguard the future of our beloved Eorzea. Right. Everybody nod. Please now send me on a mission. Oh, thank you. So close to 50. Come on. More dialogues. Nope. All present? Then let us begin. Okay, here. That's the plan. Let's hear the plan. We have received the details of the impending operation. Okay. In what promises to be the largest single counteroffensive in the realm's troubled history, the Alliance will strike at every Imperial stronghold standing upon Yorzian soil. As might be expected, the operation will be complex, but you need not commit its intricacies to memory, because we have paper. It is enough that each man understands his part and plays it to the best of his ability. Okay. The final instruction you will receive at each staging point. To begin, let us review the distribution of our forces. From west to east, the Maelstrom of Limsa the Minsa, the Immortal Flames of Ulda, and the Order of the Twin Other of Redania. Next, let us examine the location of the Imperial Strongholds. Near Limsa, we have Castrum Occidens, situated in Issa Vilbrand, and Castrum Marinum, which lies to the southeast in the midst of the Rotano Sea. In Ulda, we have Castrum Meridianum to the north, and the coastal outpost of Cave Westwind, which connects Castrum Marinum to the mainland. By means of magic deck transporter. Right. Near Grudania we have Custom Orients, which lies upon the eastern edge of the Twelfth Wood. And in Mordona we have Custom Sentry, though in the heart of Eorzea. Near Corathus. The forthcoming operation will see Aliphos assault each of the aforementioned locations with the ultimate objective of destroying the Empire's new weapon, as with Custom Meridian. Right. As one might expect of the Black Wolf's seed of power, Castle Meridianum boasts all but impenetrable defenses. If we are to breach it, we must need to isolate it from the sister strongholds. To do otherwise would be to risk being caught, twixt the hammer and the anvil. The operation will comprise four distinct phases, also. The first shall see us eliminate one of the Black Wolf's most trusted lieutenant, Rithathin Sus Arvina. Oh. According to intelligence, the Perfectus is due to visit the Imperial Outpost at Cape Westwind for an inspection. When he arrives, we shall dispatch an elite adventurer to eliminate him. Gwydion would have you lead the assault. Okay. With his peerless field tactician, shown of his leadership, the garrison of the Castle Occidents will be as a snake without a head. First, we will see us sever Castle Meridian on primary line of supply. Alright. Since the Rithidin presence is confirmed at the coastal outpost, the Melson will siege Castrum Occidents. A 
The very hour, the, Lim the Lumisian Armada, having to buy Almir herself, should move it to blockade Castle Marine. Nice. Meanwhile, the Tuesday, the order of the Twin Adder, will surround Castle Morians. I mean, it's probably good enough that they block the way. I'll have the self to help them. Trix has been waiting for a chance to avenge these ones. Ah. Oh. Let's reach a last see us neutralize customer the enemy defenses. Forming our main thrust, the immortal flames will march against the stronghold with all their strength, while the enemy eyes are thus drawn outwards. Another lead adventure unit shall infiltrate Castro. This mission to disable the Magitech field generator, which protects the Petronium, sorry, Praetorium, a fortress within a fortress wherein the ultimate weapon is believed to be housed. William will have you take command once again. Meanwhile, the Twin Order, the Twin Adder, will blockade the railway which connects Sentry and Meridianum, preventing timely arrival of reinforcement from Modona. I see. So we're gonna isolate Meridianum. Wise precaution, the monster's locomotive which runs back and forth between two Castra is capacious enough to transfer a small army. Alright. As well, the Guardians did not think to give its wings. As Meridianum defenses have been compromised, the operation will enter for the final phase. Infiltrate and kill. Well, the flame center is stronger to suppress the remnants of the enemy aggression. Allow Gideon to pass unopposed in the Praetorium, we will locate and destroy the Ultima weapon. That sounds amazing on paper. But this feat shall the operation be deemed a success. Alright. Sounds like a huge plan. In addition to the grand companies, we can count upon the support of a variety of other parties. The part of Limsa Luminsa to the monetary system of Ulda. In all, the operation will involve no fewer than 12 major factions. Oh my goodness. Let's just hold that the Archons were 12 in 1 and 1 in 12. And this is for this reason that Grand Endeavor has been dubbed Operation Archon. Counter three companies have also pledged their swords and more to join us by the day. And long last, all the Orza is rising this one. As before, we science Shaw walking. Concert with the grand companies, either Popolima or Yashtola, pray company your respective organization to the mission. Alright. Uranja, how would have you represent us in Ulda? You sure the finances that they have made a sound investment? When that is done, pray return here and aid the coordination of the forces. Tataru, assist Uranja in any way you are able, and assure that everyone is kept abreast of the latest developments. Because she's the big mouth, isn't she? Nephilia, Sid and I shall accompany the main host in an advisory capacity. It will be our task to analyze intelligence as it comes to composition and make the necessary recommendation to command. Oh, finally, we're doing stuff. As I've mentioned, you are to lead, lead the lead unit of adventure whose task is to be. Yeah, okay. I chose your body well and stay not in your preparation. The battle for the future of the realm is about to begin. Together, let us show the Black Wolf the power of United Heroes. Unless they strike first. Purple to the Mortal Flames a camp and situated in the north of here when you are ready to be briefed on your first mission. Alright, we're probably gonna wait. I cannot stress this enough, but please be careful. May you walk in the light of the crystal. Alright. I'll tell you what, guys, we're gonna take a quick break. Get some more fresh water and stuff before uh, continuing with the mission, okay? I will be right back.
Oh, they're back. Sorry, it took a couple of minutes more than expected. I had to, I remember I had to send that important email. So, yeah. Alright, what were you doing? Operation where? Oh, wait, it's right up there. So I can just get out of here. Okay, weird. What are we, ass what are we assaulting? Where's the tenant? Do we have stuff in here? Madonna? Madonna? Northern town. Alright. Is that where we're going though? It might be. Alright then. Oh, it's right outside. Communication officer, you're welcome. This communication officer forced me to issue you your orders and provide guidance on forthcoming missions. Your first mission is to infiltrate the Imperial outpost at K West and eliminate Prefectus Ritatin Sars of Vina. All participating units are in our position and awaiting your arrival. Please proceed to staging point and report to Lieutenant Adelberg. This is but the first step in our bid to purge the realm of the Guardian Menace. I shall pray for your success. All right. Oh, look at that. Oh. It's literally just there. Camp Westwind. Was this a duty or maybe like a trial? I forgot. I don't remember this bit at all. And look at this area. It's really green. Alright, right up there. Parada's Peace. This is... is this a fallen airship or something? No, oh, here we go. Other breath. So we in Celestis. Fearless adventure was to lead the assault. We've been expecting you. A missing friend reported that the Rithin Sars of Vina departed the custom oxygen in Belago. And sure enough, a company of Imperial airship landed here just now. The likelihood is high that our target was a world wonder vessel. I dispatched scouts to verify the presence before we strike. Okay. Commander Yunis, requesting status report. report. This is Antlion 1. Target has not been sighted. Uh oh. This is Ant Lion 2. Likewise, target has not been sighted. Ant Lion 3 here. We got nothing for you neither. Oh, look at this guy. This is Ant Lion 4. Nothing to report as of. Wait, there's a guy previous message. Target sighted. I say again, target sighted. Understood. Hold your position. Nice sword, dude. Attention all units, this is Lieutenant Albert Cotter. The first type of Operation Archon begins with us. Should we falter here, all hope of victory will be lost. It's no small burden to know that I believe in all of you. So believe in yourselves and together we will blaze a path for our brothers and sisters of the Alliance to follow. We'll create multiple diversion and disperse the enemy garrison. That should give you people a chance to breach the defenses. Go now. Bring us everything said. May Ralgar grant you strength. Alright. Can I queue now? Or do I just go in? How does that work? Commence diversionary maneuvers. No, I actually have to go there. Wait, that's it here? Oh, come on now. You know what, I'm just gonna... Where are the maneuver? Nobody's in here. What? Are you, are you kidding me? 
Like, what is going on? There's a level 50 ginormous beast over there. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's turned. It's moving. I think you have to kill some of these guys. Level 48, you shouldn't be too much of a problem, but... I wasn't really expecting to uh, fight. I mean, where's the diversion? There's nobody here, it's just me. Breaking into the fort, pretty much. Alright, we don't want to deal with those guys. Shall we assault the Secutor? I think we should. Okay. Easy job so far. I didn't miss a single attack, I think. That's nice. And then that guy. Maybe not. Nope. Bye. Okay, do not turn now. Uh, oof. Okay. Can we just sneak behind? That's what we just did. Okay, there we go. Duty Finder has been updated. Where? It's not a dungeon. It's not a heist. It's the trial. Sure. Join Cave Westway. Oh dear. Can we move to a safer place? This does not seem safe at all. Maybe behind here? Oh, I don't think that's safe. Oh, there we go. Commence. Nope. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. It's a full on raid. It. Oh, exactly this way. Oh, please don't. It is eight people, so I guess it counts as a raid. It's the first one, aside from the, the guild has that we already did. One tech, one healer. No, this one. It's come to light the Rithin Sars of Vena, Perfectus Castorum of the 14th Legion is scheduled to inspect into your Alpha's Cape West, although native to a territory subjugated by the Empire. Within prowess is a field tactician has won him, a station of great authority with the Guardian military. Such a formidable enemy general will surely prove an obstacle, an obstacle. The Alliance effort to purge the realm of the Imperial menace. For the first phase of Operation Archon, you have been entrusted the mission of infiltrating the Imperial outpost and striking him down. Yeah, look at that, two tanks, two healers and four deeps. Sure, there we go. Commence once again. Come on now, guys. Come on, one deeps. It's only you, dude. Don't screw this up for. The rest of us. Ah, he's doing it. I know he's doing it. And it's throwing it. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. No? Huh. Fantastic. Alright. Apparently was really busy. Sure. Full party. Oh, it's right there. Hello. It will appear we have unexpected guests. Now, where have I seen you before? Oh, of course, the man who fell the mighty titan. Yeah, that's right. This is the Icon Slayer. I see the commotion without is not but a diversion. Allow me to hazard a guess, but I think me you hope to undermine the garrison and the oxidants. 
A ball strategy to be sure, but have you the strength to see it to fruition? Leave us. None of you are a match for it. So what's the custom oxidants? Tell them the missiles are coming. Hi, hi, sir. It's got big shield guns. Fifteen years of counting guns since Lord Van Bels has set foot in the old area. Yet this ambition for the Ren burn as strong as ever it did. You know what feels it to venture? The desire to deliver the people from the suffering. Ren's has conquered were all beset with problems, poverty, starvation and lawlessness and strife. My homeland was no exception, and my lord not reached out and claimed before the Empire, it would eventually have destroyed itself. But under his sage leadership, my people enjoyed such peace and stability as we had never known. And he only desired to sell same for the people of this realm. Under his rule, they also would be free from the shackles which bind it, the shackles of false faith. There would be no free, feeble leader to misguide the masses, no icons to bleed the run dry. True peace will reign, and the people will be free to live their lives without fear of persecution and oppression. Should have the truth of my words, I bid you look upon me. I am no son of Gallimard, yet Lord Barbelson saw fit to raise me and station great honor. He measures the man not by his birth, but by his word. Such is sense and justice, but the grace of his excellency, and where was I born to be upon the battlefield? Alright. That's interesting though, is they're making a very good point. I have no one to bear my steel needlessly, but if you are deaf to reason. I actually. Let's wait to check it out. I was considering his position, it's not bad. I mean. I don't know. Oh my goodness. That is super loud. I am so sorry guys. I can hear how loud it is. I can barely hear myself. Over the insane amount of noises. This guy is getting so wrecked. Oh, we're tunneling? Alright. I guess that worked. Oh my goodness. The cutscene was actually, actually longer than the fight itself. That was that was way too easy. No real ability whatsoever. Forgive me, I have failed you. Northern Belsar. What is that? Wow, everybody already left. Amazing. Two player commendations. Thank you. <laughs> Why not? The light. The Magitech Transporter. Britain, are you there? What news of Britain then? Fallen? With this deed, you have sown the seed for our ultimate victory. The fading of that light presages an end to the Empire's tyranny. Ritidin Sarsavina is no more. Let the next phase of Operation Archon commence. Alright. Tis I, it seems you've done well again. I just a tanker to you, but I'm afraid we have no time to savor the victory. There's still the small matter of infiltrating customer the and destroying the ultimate weapon. I know, I know, and the rest for the paranormal gifted. Now stop feeling sorry for yourself and make your way to the model flames. 
Communication officer with issue new orders. Okay. Was anybody watching me? La Brea. Look, Evelyn, your minion comes, bringing the light. The last the gate to the void that already stands open. Soon darkness shall consume all. And you shall bow down before the one true God. Wow. Yep, yeah, reading the dispatch probably. The perfect is slain. Regrettably so, my lord. At the hand of the Icon Slayer, if the Centurion will survive the attack, is to be believed. Rather than. Where were his men when he faced the enemy? Fleeing as. even as the commander yielded up his last breath? Should prove that question is right. I cannot speak for them, my lord. Doesn't matter, he was a fool. Like pardons, my lord, but there is more. Melsum has laid siege to Custom Occident. Likewise, the Crimson Fleet moves to blockade Castle Marino. Enough. So this is their answer. Very well, we shall crush them as we crush the Icons. Go forth and show them the futility of the resistance. Yes, my lord. Alright, we're outside. Apparently we made it. That was way too easy, but I guess, I mean, eight people, lots of high levels. How can it not be? All right, next one. My goodness, it's getting so hot, I don't feel too well. Unbelievable this weather. He did this day there are an inspiration to us all. The death of Perfectus. Operation Alcan has entered its second phase. He went to the and moves to blockade Custom Occident and Marina. And for the east, the Black Shroud in order to unite the Vessel Pass Coast from Orient. Already you have done much to the Vessel Coast performing such feats as a war song. Alright. Let's know when your preparation are in order. Sure. Um. Yeah, why not? I'm sorry guys, I need to. I think I need to stop here. It's too hot for this. I can't. Sorry, I will continue tonight maybe. But right now, it's too much. I need to lay down. I'll see you later, guys. Goodbye.